<laughs> so now here comes the fun part. You don't want to swing it against another, you know, I think this would be kind of ignominious to get it all tangled up, you know. Oh crap, damn it, damn it. And Indiana Jones aside, I'm not sure how he can whip things and make his whip make a clove hitch. No, yeah. That's pretty damn impressive. That's, yeah, nice little twist there. Yeah. Um, it's a magic whip. Yeah. It's a magic whip. All right, so, um, but you've got a few interesting things because it comes at weird angles. All right, so let's get away from the tree. You know, back then and stuff. So we're here and you could go side to side with it. All right, and it's just here and suddenly flips up. Um, well, actually, the one I want—the one I want to do. So, if we're empty hand versus our flail, and again, it could be the rock and a sock, it could be nunchaku or whatever else. But I can't block with this. Even if this was a rock, even if it had some solidity to it, and we're here, and I, he punches at me, and I go. I just, first of all, I just nailed myself in the crotch. <laughs> but I got the arm. But you could probably do it. But he was pulling pretty slow, and he's not actually trying to hit me. So. In an alive sense, it's not going to work. <clears throat> oh crap, oh crap. You know, I, he better telegraph like crazy because I will not be able to. Uh, oh, there it is. Make a cool pitch. Um, however, what you can do is block the hands. So I could here. Um, or with this arm. Oh, yeah. Uh, give me the, the cross. Right. Uh -huh. Parry with your forearm. Boom. And this will continue on. Boom. Or you, I mean, you could, you know, like do slap. But again, you have to watch out because the momentum is going to go in a weird place. Yeah. And you don't know where it's going to go. You can hope, but you don't. <laughs> uh, don't do this against kicks. Because you'll break your arm. Because it's broken. Okay. So. Get a partner. One of you has a weapon. One of you foolishly doesn't. Although you know the weapon. I. My first exposure to Dan Inosanto was an article about how much he didn't like nunchaku. <laughs> Which, considering it's Dan Inosanto yeah. who, one, teaches it, two, taught it to Bruce Lee, three, uh, there's a great fight scene in the movie Game of Death, nunchaku versus nunchaku, and you think, but Dan, and. Basically the same things I've outlined. No puño, no thrusting, no blocking, uh, yeah, no wittick, uh, you know, no fainting. There's so many downsides to it. Anyway, um, he was talking <coughs> about uh, if given the choice, he would, you know, if, if given the choice between empty hands and a nunchaku, he'd take the nunchaku. Given the choice between a nunchaku and a stick, he'd take the stick. Now I was like, 18 at the time when I was reading this. So of course, you know, I'm a teenager, which, you know, is the equivalent of being a, a congenital idiot. Hey. Um, you're not a teenager yet? One year. Okay, so you got, yeah. you so you got one year of intelligence left to you, buddy. Use it wisely. Um, and at, But at the time I was like, oh, but Nunchaku are awesome and they're amazing and I can do all these tricks with them. So yeah, I eventually figured out, oh yeah, okay, I see what he's talking about, but it took a little while. Anyway, so you're gonna partner up and um, what's going to happen is your partner is going to throw uh, punches and you can either parry them with the hand or parry them with the arm. But, yeah, so parry. Yeah. Just, try to, just try to work around. Your partner is going to try and hit you. You're going to have to move. You're either going to have to parry with your open hand and strike or Carry with your form and simultaneously strike, which is a lot of fun too. Okay, and everybody's gonna get hit, so tough noogies. <laughs> All right. Nobody said anything about noogies though. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sock. Any younger brother?